slide. A water park owner in New Hampshire is trying to save his business tonight. The attorney general shut down the water slides at his park, Liquid Planet, because of a bacterial contamination. Well, now the bank has foreclosed and wants to auction off Kevin Dumont's land. WBZ's Jim Armstrong is live at that water park tonight. And Jim, is he still up there? He certainly is, and he is serious about staying up there. Mr. Dumont is an Army veteran. He served in Desert Storm, and he said some of his Army buddies took a trip up to the top of this water slide earlier today to bring him some cold weather gear. He's ready to ride out the rain and try to stay up there for as long as he needs to. It's a 30 foot climb to meet this interview. Almost there. But there's no rush. I got a nice warm blanket. Kevin Dumont's not going anywhere. I'll stay here until, until, the, until the final day if that's what it takes. The owner operator of Liquid Planet Water Park has taken up residence in, chained himself to, yeah. actually, his biggest water slide. We got lifeguards up here and they're going down the red slide, going down the green slide. <laughs> and right now you've got firewood in there. And right now I've got, yeah, wood, firewood to keep my tarps down and a tent. It's very surreal. And yeah, I, yeah, that's a word. Back in 2008, Dumont and his family sunk everything they had into this park. Despite one recession and several rainy summers, they paid off half of their $3 million loan. So they said, you know, we need you to pay the entire amount or we're going to go to auction. And in the middle of the summer, my mom died. And then two and a half weeks ago, my dad died. And so I'm trying to deal with all of that. With the clock ticking, Dumont summoned his inner survival skills, born in part from his time serving in Desert Storm. You know, I know it's a little gimmicky, you know, chaining yourself to a tower, but I was just trying to find a way to get the most amount of people aware of what's going on in the shortest amount of time. We only have three weeks. His one Facebook post triggering a national response. I'm like basically on cloud nine right now. I'm so happy that at least people are supporting me. And hopefully one of those people eventually will, will call and say, listen, I'm interested. Back live here in Candia, uh, December 2nd is the date that uh, Dumont is targeting here. That's when the bank auction actually happens. He's planning on having Thanksgiving dinner up there if he needs to, but what he's really hoping happens is that an investor will come forward, pick up the approximately million and a half dollars left on this loan, and then he says from that point on, this place can turn a profit, and he's willing to share that profit with whoever steps up. Live in Candia, New Hampshire, Jim Armstrong, WBZ News.